Hello students, this will be our last week of summer school for 2020 and I really want to finish strong. You have all been doing a fantastic job and we all appreciate your effort to better your skills in language arts. This week we will be reading a variety of nonfiction texts where we will be determining the central idea and how to write summaries of nonfiction texts. Remember that central idea and main idea mean the same thing. We just refer to central idea of a text more frequently. How to find main idea. Before you read, read the title. What is the text about? What is the topic? During the reading, look for and carefully read text features. Is the text fiction, nonfiction? Look for information, words, and pictures that are repeated. After you read, think about the most important point about the topic. What details or examples back up and support the main idea? Our standard for today, determine how a central idea of a text is conveyed through particular details. Provide an objective summary of the text. When I read nonfiction, before I predict learning, ask questions, anticipate the text. During the reading, determining new learning, ask questions, connect information, where they have a Venn diagram of frogs and toads, where they have separate aspects and aspects they have in common, identify important information, and you can see a web there. And after the reading, ask questions, share new learning, identify main idea, summarize information. Our learning goal for the day, and I can statements, I can identify the central idea of a nonfiction statement, nonfiction text. I can determine how a central idea develops over the course of a nonfiction text. I can objectively summarize a nonfiction text. Our vocabulary words are central idea. It is the point that the author wants you to remember most. Determine means to clarify the meaning of unknown and multiple meaning words and phrases. Objective means not influenced by personal feelings or opinions in considering and representing facts. A summary is a restatement of main points, especially as a conclusion to a work. The keys to unlocking a nonfiction summary. Read the text, identify the text structure, both sequence and cause and effect, unlock the main idea sentence, identify the text in this lesson, verb is the author examines, topic is our global economy, and the big idea explains how it's a result of communication and transportation innovations. Identify two to three important details, imports and exports, benefits and costs. Those are all keywords that you're pointing out and unlocking the nonfiction summary. Remember to be able to determine the central idea of a text. It is important that you understand what you are reading. You may have to read a story, a passage, or an article twice to be able to fully understand it. Now we're going to read a story. And then we're going to do a little practice. The captain of an airplane has a big job. The captain has to make sure the plane is safe. The captain needs to be able to make good decisions. There could be a problem before the plane takes off. The captain checks everything to be sure it is ready. The captain needs to decide if it is safe to fly. Then the captain has to figure out what to do if there is a problem while flying. In January 2009, the captain of a plane took off in New York. That's a very busy city. As the plane rose, it ran into some birds. The birds got caught in the engines. Both engines stopped. The captain had to figure out how to save the plane. There would not be time to go back to the airport. He saw a river, the Hudson River. It's a big river. But there were boats on it, and the water was cold. Still, he knew that would be the safest place to land. He told the passengers to get ready for a hard landing. He wanted to be sure they got to safety. In the cabin, the passengers were scared. The airline workers told them to do their best. They said to put their heads down and hold on tight. Passengers did that. 
They looked at each other. Family members held hands. They told each other how they felt. Then the plane hit the water. It was a jolt. Then water started coming into the plane, but they helped each other. The airline workers helped them get out. When everyone was safe, the captain left too. They were standing on the wings of the plane as it floated in the water. It was sinking, but boats came to get them. There were firemen on the boats. There were police officers too. The people on the boats said they were lucky to have such a good captain. He said, it is not about me. We all did it together. In fact, you're the heroes. Everyone was grateful to the captain, even though he said that. We are going to use the same nonfiction passage as yesterday, but today, instead of summarizing the passage, we will be determining the central idea of a passage. Let's get started by asking ourselves, what is the text about? Two, what are the author's most important ideas? And three, Knowing the answer to the first two questions should help you in determining the central idea of the text. The text is about a captain who has an airplane full of passengers and after hitting some birds realizes he has to land the plane in an area that isn't very populated, which is New York City, can be quite challenging. The author's most important ideas are that people can persevere and have faith in others. The passengers trusted their captain to get them out of the difficult situation safely and there were many heroes that day from the captain, the rescuers, and the passengers themselves for following safety protocols and directions. It took the efforts of many to achieve the successful outcome, and everyone's lives changed that day. Summary. Somebody wanted, but so then. Somebody, who is the main character, wanted. What did the main character want to do? But what was the problem? So how did the character solve the problem? And then what was the resolution? There was a plane full of people in New York City that took off and shortly after takeoff hit some birds and began, began having problems. The captain couldn't make it back to the airport and knew he was going to have to land the plane where the fewest people would be and where he would be able to land it as safely as possible. He decided to land the plane on the river and many boats that were in the river came to the plane to help rescue the people. The passengers safely evacuated the plane and stood on the wings until help arrived. The captain was the last one to leave the plane, making sure that all of his passengers were safely rescued first. The passengers were very appreciative of the captain's heroic efforts and happy they would re be returning to their family safely. I hope you understand a little bit more about determining the central idea of a nonfiction text. Now your teacher is going to spend a little more time talking about determining the central idea of a nonfiction text and doing some examples. Tomorrow we will review what you did today and continue talking about how to determine the central idea of a text. Have a fantastic day and I will see you tomorrow.